Ready now for the 100 meters. And here is the women's 100 meter final setting up now. Way number one belongs to Garcia Abreu of Cuba. Kamika Brigham of Canada has lane two. Michelle Lee Ai in lane three. And of course the Jamaican Sharika Jackson who has the fastest qualifying time coming into the night. Sitting right there in lane number four. Zalera Barnes has lane five of the US. Natasha Morrison, Jamaica in lane six. Javian Oliver in lane seven, and then that's Crystal Emmanuel of Canada in lane eight. But of course, all eyes will be right there in the center of the track as Sharika Jackson, the Jamaican, will be in lane four. Michelle Liai will see if she can give her a bit of a push. Uh, competition for second at this point. Uh, so you really want to try to stick as closely to Sharika as possible. Maybe get out a good time. Yes, we'll see what happens and be indeed getting ready to have our viewers join us, rejoin us back on television on our TV as the conclusion of newscast coming up. We'll have them rejoin us in just a few short seconds as we get ready for the final of the women's 100 meters. Abreu, Cuba in one, Canada has lane two, that's Bingham. Lee Ahi, Trinidad de Bago in lane three, Sharika Jackson in four. Celera Barnes in five of the United States with Morrison of Jamaica in six. JV Ann Oliver in seven. And Emmanuel in lane number eight. And we are ready to go. Start of the women's 100 meter final. They're set up in those blocks and ready to go. As a quick rundown over at the start. Once again, giving you those lane assignments. It is Abreu of Cuba in lane one. Bingham, Canada in lane two. Michelle Le Ai of Trinidad and Tobago has lane three occupied with Sharika Jackson of Jamaica in lane four. Celera Barnes has lane five. Natasha Morrison in lane six. Javian Oliver, United States in seven. And Crystal Emanuel in lane number eight. As we rejoin just a few short moments, our viewers on our TV, welcome back to our coverage. Women's 100 meter final, just about ready to get started here. Abreu, Bingham, DIE, Jackson, Barnes, Morrison, Oliver, and Emmanuel. And we welcome back our viewers on our TV. Thank you so good. Thank you so much for rejoining us following our newscast. We are ready for the start of the women's 100 meter final here at Trackside. Good clean start there off and running. And right away we see Sarika Jackson surging to the forefront. Lee Ai trying to give her a bit of a push, but it will be Sharika Jackson winning handedly here at the Grand Bahama Sports Complex. And comfortable win for the Jamaican Sharika Jackson. 10.83 is the time I'm seeing unofficially on the clock now. Readjusted 10.82 is the official time. 10.82 for Sharika Jackson taking home. 11. 1-0 for Solera Barnes of the United States who got second. Natasha Morrison, 11-1-0, finishes third. And Lee Ai, who we thought would be right there in the mix, has not even finished in the top four. Jazz Javian Oliver 
finishes fourth in 11-2-0. Lee Ayi has to settle for fifth, a time of 11-2-2. But Sharika Jackson, as we expected, coming in dominant across the finish line, 10.82 meters. Great run there for Jackson. Lee Ayi, whom we thought would be one of those who would really give a push. We're going to swing across to talk to our very own Ricky in a second. She is standing by. We're going to have her come and talk to some of these athletes that just ran this 100 meters. But absolutely great performance there by Sharika Jackson. We knew that uh, she would come in and, and certainly be the force to beat. Not surprising at all. Bahamas. Uh, Sharika Jackson takes the gold and her teammate Natasha Morrison getting the bronze here at the track side. There is your second place finisher, Celera Barnes, who got the silver from the United States of America. Great finish there in that men's, the women's 100 meters men's coming up in just a few short seconds here at the track. But the spotlight there on that young lady right there is Sharika Jackson of Jamaica. And standing by, we have Ricky Barry, who's going to be able to grab the winners of that last race, including Sharika Jackson and her teammates. Ricky? Well, we'll get that in just a few short seconds. She doesn't quite ready. She doesn't have him yet just yet, but we'll swing over to her as quickly as we can. There is a look at Sharika Jackson, uh, the world. So... While well, we have her right now, we have that moment. Let's swing on across to Ricky Barry, who has Sharika Jackson, the winner of this 100 meters. Hey, Marcellus. Yes, I'm down here with the winner of the 100 meters, Sharika Jackson. So first, tell us about the race. How did the race go? I did pretty good today. I just wanted to come and have some fun. And I did that, so I'm just grateful. Yes, and you are the world champion across the 200, but you decided to go with the one. Day. What was the reason behind that decision? I'm um, coach decided that um, I've run a good amount of 200 this season, so it's time to just focus on running some fast 100. Great. So in the future, are we going to see you more in the shorter distance, or do you still want to stick with dominating the 200? Um, the thing is, after all, I am a silver medalist at World Championship, so I'm focus focusing on both the one and two, and just see how fast I can go. Amazing, great race. Thank you so much for talking to us, and we hope to see you. All right, thank you. And now I'm here with second place, Celera Barnes. How did the race go for you? Um, it was pretty cool. This is my first senior championships. Um, I'm only 23, so it was really cool to come out here to another country, especially Freeport, Bahamas. It's amazing here. Um, the crowd, the energy, everything's amazing about being here. Right, and you had some very stiff competition, but you found a way to make it through and, you know, kind of put a little U.S. between the two Jamaicans. So uh, how did that feel, being able to really put out your best foot forward? Yeah, I mean, I've watched them for years compete, so to be able to compete with them um, is a blessing, and I can learn from both of them. Um, and just to be in the middle of that was just staying uh, poised. My coach, Carmelita Jetta, she always preaches that. Everybody knows who she is, so staying poised at the end um, definitely helped me. Great race. Again, congratulations on the silver medal. And lastly, I'm here with Natasha Morrison. I don't know if it was intentional to go down the, the medal line, but you were able to grab the bronze. How does that feel? Um, it's always an extraordinary feeling to come out here and compete with these wonderful ladies. Um, I would say it's not my best race, but I'm happy and pleased with the brands. <laughs>